Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. I release content every day, and today we are continuing our playthrough of The Long Dark. This is uh, Story Mode, Episode 2. And the last one, kind of just explored, just like random walking around, found some cool stuff. Um, and then we also got, let's see, this, this lookout tower right here. We found a, a cache. It was Hank's Hatch. That was the secondary mission. That's what it was called, but... It was um, Hank. He was a prepper. And he has a shelter up here, Hank's Hatch. And so we're going to, right now, we're going to the logging camp, which is right in the middle of the screen now. We're going to go there. We're going to rest, uh, repair our clothes, and just, like, you know, take care of uh, the administrative stuff, for lack of better words. You know, just, like, inventory things. And then uh, once, once we're all good and set to go, then we will come out here to the, well, to Hank's Hatch, see what he has. I bet he has some cool stuff. And then... I don't know, it'd be kind of cool to go back to the Carter Hydro Dam. Because last time we were there, I felt like we were kind of rushed because we found medical supplies. And then, that was our main objective, find medical supplies to, to save the trapper from dying after he had been attacked by a bear. And then, uh, once we found those medical supplies, the main objective, the main mission objective changed and it said, get back to him before he dies. So I felt like there was a timer on it. We didn't really get a chance to explore the dam completely. There was a lower area to the dam that had to be kind of put on the back burner. And this seems, well, depending on the weather tomorrow, this seems like a good opportunity to go back there since we'll just be there anyway. What the heck's this? This is... Oh, no, no. Okay, that's... Yeah, we've already been there. We're going the wrong way. We need to go... Oh, shoot. What am I doing? We need to go north, so we need to kind of, like, swing around. Oh, did we just... Run up there. Get up there. Get up there. We need to come around this way, right? Wish we had a compass. Yeah, it goes straight north, so hopefully... We can kind of, like, shimmy our way... Straight ahead, like, through that really steep terrain. Hopefully. It, it's looking less and less like... We're at a sprain risk. We might have to use another bandage. Yep, there it is. Why are we spraining our wrist? I just do not get it. I guess if we sprained our ankle, we wouldn't be able to walk anymore, so the game's, like, being merciful. Let's see, how can we do this? Right here, maybe? Can we get up? Can't jump. Can't get up there. Mm, I don't think it's gonna happen. Are you serious? You can't step up? Like a little 10-inch slope. Guy? Will? Oh, there we go. That was weird. Okay, we're gonna... Try to keep our... Mm -mm, come on. Going back and forth, trying to gain... Go up. Not working. Shoot. Because we're so close. How else can we do this? We need, we need to be up on that little ledge right there. Another... Oh gosh, okay. Another sprained wrist, or is it the same one? Well, we have two sprained wrists now. We can't sprain anything else, right? <laughs> Are we losing health? Well, we're going to see what happens here. Get over there. Get over there. Get over there. Get over there. No? Gosh, we were so close. We made some progress there, but it's just not... I don't think it's going to happen here. It's been a nice day. It's been really... Oh, oh no way. Nice! Okay, let's look at our afflictions now. Sprain wrists! Wait, what? Oh, one out of two. Okay, so one wrist, two wrists. Now we have a lot of pain. So we can't, we can't hold weapons. You can see um, on the right side, you will not be able to hold weapons until you treat it. Or it heals over time. There are wolves howling. Can we get over here? Oh, no. Is it is it invisible wall time? No, it's not. Okay, here we go. So we just need to go basically straight. Straight ahead. I don't know why... Uh, let's just heal. I was just going to say, I don't know why I'm not healing, because we have all the things to do, and we have a ton of cloth. We can just make more bandages. Oh. <sighs> 
<laughs> He's like, oh, thank you, player. Thank you for treating me with some dignity. Painkillers. Use. And then do we have another pain? We do, yeah. Well, we have plenty of supplies, so it's, it's good to use them. Okay, just like that. It's magical. No, it's not. It's a video game, though. If it were realistic, we'd, we'd it would take weeks, right? So, like, I, I maybe not weeks, but depending on how well we took care of ourselves during the recovery process, it could take weeks to heal, and that's not fun. There it is. We're going right down there. We're going to sprain again. We're going to sprain again. Let's get off this steep terrain as quickly as possible. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, now just, just go. Who cares? Go down the thing. I guess we can't run? Huh. Because of the pain? We're not building stamina back? Or, like, what's... Oh, because we got a sprained ankle, finally. That's the first time. We've gotten a lot of sprains so far, but never the ankle. You have twisted your ankle and are now suffering a sprain. Your mobility will be reduced until you treat it, or it heals over time. So, wait, how long does it take? Oh. The recovery time. I, I Okay, I get it. It counts backwards. Uh, for the infection, when we were healing it, it said that it was going to take eight hours. We rested for, well, it was like five hours. And then it said three of eight. I was thinking the game was telling us that we had only rested for three hours, but I knew for a fact we had rested more, so it was kind of confusing. So now it makes more sense. Well, it'll, it'll heal over time. It only takes three hours to heal a sprained ankle, which is just awesome. I mean, n not letting it, I know from firsthand, like not letting a sprained ankle heal all the way before you, you go back to using it 100%. I mean, it, it changes the way your ankle moves permanently. So if the fact that the game, you know, gives us that kind of like leeway, it's kind of nice. Okay, so, oh, new trail boots? That is garbage. Those are horrible. Mountaineering boots are way better. Okay, now that we're here, oh, we're all, we're getting kind of sweaty. But now that we're here, we're going to... Hmm. Please hold. This is all we're doing. I tore apart the, the new trail boots because they're just not good. They're not good at all. Then now we're just tearing apart things so that way we can... Get nothing. So we can uh, re we can repair the clothes that are good that we want. Slightly wet. How, many, how much cloth do we need? 86. I think the other ones that we have are better. 95. Yeah, where are those ones? Nice. Freebie. Um, actions. Harvest. Get leather for that. It takes 10 minutes. You can see that the time's passing, but we're at about one-third of our fatigue meter remaining full, so we won't need that much sleep. Our vitals are all good, so that'll help also. I'm just kind of looking at stuff here. We have anything else to break down? Doesn't look like it. Oh, there we go. Decent, simple. Parka, 76. This was... I guess now now we have a chance to do this. I want to compare these two. Actions, repair. Two cloth. Do it. Can't repair well in the dark. Oh, come on. Really? I mean, it, it makes sense, but like... Okay. We have a jerry can, right? Let's, let's look at that. Let's see how much lamp oil that we have. Is it in here? It here, right there. We have a lot. We have a lot of oil. Okay, cool. And our our lamp is full right now. The storm lamp. So let's put it over here. Boop. Perfect. Are we still in pain? Oh, that's right. That's right. We were gonna sleep on it. I forgot about that already. Drop the can. Now go back to clothing, and we want to check this out. So actions, repair, two cloth. Yeah, repair with the sewing kit. Okay, I guess. If it's like a heavy coat, then it requires a sewing kit to repair. Or you know, if it's like a heavy enough, heavy enough material. I don't know. It seemed like we were doing that a long time without using a sewing kit. Like we were doing all kinds of stuff with clothes without having to use that. So two degrees. Hmm. Two cloth repair sewing kit. That's fine. Oh yeah, we're hungry and super thirsty. Cool. The moment of truth. Which one's better? They're exactly the same. <laughs> 
<laughs> you gotta be kidding me. That's fine. Well, this you can see that uh, Mackenzie's parka is slightly better because when when we go to switch to the new simple parka, there's a, a down two down red arrows uh, for the the windproofness and the overall temperature rating. So we're going to harvest this one. Get our cloth back. Waste twenty minutes. Then we're gonna have to drink some stuff. I'm gonna do the rest of this um, on my own. I'll. I'll Get you when we're when we're all woken up and it's daylight. I think I get it now. We were making repairs without using any tools for a while. And I think it just took longer to do and it might have affected the repair amount, chance of success, all that kind of stuff. But I thought this was interesting. You can use fishing tackle to repair your clothes. Pretty cool. We're going to repair this. This is our last item and then we're going to head out. It's daylight. You can see in the upper right of the screen. Let's uh, use a little bit of food here. Our last soda. Here we go. 87 calories left in that soda. Oh, let's let's refill our lantern just because that's gone over that before. That's just one of those things. I like to have it ready. Ready to go when we need it. Yeah. Looks good. We're, we're a little bit overburdened, but it's not too bad. We have plenty of medication for pain. We have plenty of cloth to make bandages if we need to. I think we still have a couple bandages, right? We have one bandage left. So yeah, I think we're, we're okay, even being overburdened and continuing that trend once we get to Hang's Hatch. Like, being even more overburdened. And I think it's just... See that big rock up there? I think it's just on the other side of that. Maybe we'll we'll find a stag that we can hunt, and then uh, try our hand at making some deerskin clothes. Because at the trapper's cabin, we have that workbench that we can use. Oh, I don't know. I'm pretty sure we can use it. Like I know there's a workbench there, but I don't know if you know it's available for the player to use. Are we? No, no, I was wrong. We're it's way over there. Just about there. Just on the other side of these big rocks. Pretty uneventful trek up here. I did, there was nothing. No animals. Just a bunch of sticks and some bark and then bigger sticks that we could turn into smaller sticks. Here we go. Crow feather. Uh, yeah, I just... We, we have... We have 39 rounds, and I don't see any sign of the game letting up on how much ammo it's giving us compared to how much we use. Ah, here it is. Okay, good thing I wrote it down. 45, 18, 32. Oh, wrong way. Let's see if it works on the first. Yep, there we go. 45. 18. 32. Open her up. Oh, no, no, no. You have to hit, hit it twice. Open her up. Finally made it. Wow. This is more luxurious than I thought. We're warming up at two arrows. Body temperature. What's... Okay. A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Let's search it all. This will come in handy. No, it won't. Um, sure. Cloth. Okay. Lantern fuel, quality tools. We already have some. They're at the trapper's hut, trapper's cabin. I'm gonna kind of like make a sweep here uh, from the left side and then move around to the right. Search every single drawer. I think I can use this. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Actually, no, we don't need that because we just repaired all of our clothes. It'll be a while until we need another sewing kit. Stack of papers, tinder. No thanks. No thanks. We've talked about the books it being saved. Take the player. Saved and used as fuel. Just not not economically efficient. Like in the economics of survival mechanics. Look at all those beans! Put down sewing kit. Drop it. Drop it. Okay. Okay, cool. I'm just looking at some other things in the inventory. Uh, like the whetstone. 
Peaches, yeah. How much weight can we carry here? Hope These I are all still eat this. quarter kilogram, yeah. You can still eat it, Will. It'd be cool as if, if, like, as the game progressed, um, Will had, like, other sayings. A lot big waters, big bottles of water. Let's, we'll, we'll, how much weight are we at? 45.91. is getting too heavy to carry. We know, dude. How many frozen corpses are there? Remember what's his face, uh, Jeremiah the Trapper? He said, you ain't gonna find many people out here. And then we found, like, I, I don't even know, 20 corpses? Yeah, I'll take it. Search him, and then we're gonna read that note. Nothing. Oh, a trunk? Search the trunk next. <laughs> I could use this. No, we can't. Ooh, wait, warm. Oh, those might be warmer than the thermal underwear that we have. We're gonna see. New hoodie. Don't need it. Okay, note time. Hank's journal, part two. So the in the first the first page of the journal we found up in up in the watchtower, right? There was like the uh the illegible note that just had it was. Anyway, we got we found part one up there. And uh, I remember saying it this that was a pretty reasonable thing for someone to write. But uh, my impression based on what Will has said and some other things in the game, um Hank probably started to kind of go stir crazy and started to go nuts. And so hopefully here when we read this part two. My expectations and hope I'm crossing my fingers are that uh, we get we get some more interesting stuff here. Press space to read it. Things have not turned out the way I hoped. I guess that's why they say hope is not a plan. I was on my way to drop some supplies off in the bunker, but wolves hunted me the whole way here and I couldn't escape them. One managed to take a chunk out of my leg just before I could get in here and slam the hatch door. It feels like it's on fire. I think it's infected. And now I hear something like scratching on the hatch door. I'm afraid to open up. Angela, I pray to God it isn't you or your mother. But it can't be. It's just too soon. I'm just going to hold out down here for a bit. And we'll check when it's daylight again. Just have to find a way to keep track of the time down here. Obviously you lost track of time and died. Right, I guess. Oh, cardboard box. Wait, what does he have right there? Get out of the way, all the text. That does not look like a cardboard box. What is this thing? It looks like a giant sock. I don't see any bandage on his leg or anything. That's what I was crouched down to do. Wood matches? Nope. Emergency stem? That was a huge disappointment. You take that thing and then you're like... Anymore. You're worn out after that. Bandage, bandage, sure. If he would have made it... Or like just come over here, he could have been... Alive still. Firearm cleaning kit? Nice. Must be a pretty general purpose kit, right? Because you know you have like different bore sizes and stuff, and like this stuff will come. It in takes handy. a lot of stuff in a kit to be general purpose, quote unquote. You know what I mean? At least like five different brushes, maybe more. Ragged work boots, steel-toed work boots—the kind you'd find on a construction site. Tough, but not warm. Yeah, you had me at not warm. I wonder if we can wear two pairs of shoes. I think I've asked that before. Great. Just to break down, yeah. That's it, huh? Thousand pounds of beans and a note saying the guy died. Or explaining the guy's death. This will come in handy. Thermal man said 46% durability. That's really the only reason to trade at this point, unless it had, like, full fuel. Can opener, don't need it. Did the lights work? Did we just leave the hatch open? Must have, because it looks like there's snow coming down, right? No, that's everywhere in this game. Those little, like, glowing triangles that are just floating across the screen. Why are there just so many dead people everywhere? And then I said we're going to go to the dam, right? How much How much weight do we have? 47.61. We want to go... Oh, nope, we can't go that way. What time is it? It's not It's not even noon. We can't. I was going to say, well, let's just go back down there and see if there's a bed and then sleep, but there's... can't. Like, there's no... We can, but there's no reason to. Let's shed some weight here. Let's put this uh, this food actually back in 
here. We just we don't need it. And at this point, it's like such a hindrance. It slows us down so much that it's we're way better off without it. We'll just put it right here. Look at all them beans. What's this one? Opened? Eat that one. And drink the soda. I mean, since we're here, right, in this menu, we may as well take care of these things. Done. And drop, 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 drop. That's the best part of the UI that I've experienced so far. Is that it worked. What are we at now? 44.84. Wow. We're still way over on the weight. I'm looking in the upper left now. What do we have that's... Oh, we have quite a few things, don't we? Um, that we don't need. How much cloth do we have? 12 cloth? Oh, jeez. Yeah, we're going to drop all these. We're going to go in here. Get out of the way from the pork and beans, because we might need those someday. No, we won't. No, we... Okay. 1.2. Thermal underwear is only 1.0. Shirt. Drop it. Don't need it. Let's, um... 99, 93. We're going to wear these. And then we're actually going to repair them, too. Yep, using the sewing kit. See what they give us now. Because they'll be repaired. All the way. Two. Two. Wow, that's really good. It's like Under Armour, like... 3.0s, right? Like, instead of, uh... Like, Under Armour, or Under Armour, like, thermal underwear. But, uh, yeah, the, the 3.0s are, like, 2.0s instead of, like, the base layer 1.0. Anyway. Anyway, anyway. Okay, I dropped these. What's our weight looking like now? <laughs> no, man, not enough. Not enough. Okay, antiseptic can be dropped. I, st I still want to have enough time in this video for the damn exploration, though, so... Please hold. Okay, dropped a lot of stuff. Still have <laughs> just a ridiculous amount of food, but but 37. We're only a little more than 2 kilograms overweight. And I'm curious if we can go this way. I really, really doubt it. Looks like we're going to be walled in right here. Yep. We're going to have to go back this way. Again, we're going to the dam building. So we're going to have to come way around underneath this mountain range that's to our left, directly south of us right now. We're going to go that way. Oh. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> We're starting to get sweaty. Let's take some things off. It was like nine degrees. One more thing. Take off the extra hat. Oh, those socks are bad. Okay. Then I guess... Those two, F. It was like seven degrees. Jeez, how much stuff do we need to take off? Can't see shirt. And these wet pants. Let's see what that feels like. Five. Yeah, that's good enough. Oh, a stack. No way. So we this is this is pretty ideal, I think, right now. This is a good opportunity. So we're chasing squirrels at this point. I said we we're going to the dam. We still might, but um priority right now is to get the stag. I'm curious about crafting some deer skin clothing. I want to see how much better it is. With the mobility. Okay, we're about, we're about as close as I want to be. Maybe we can try to get a little bit closer. Oh, he's coming toward us. Okay. Oh, nice. Keep coming toward us. Did I miss? So majestic. Yeah, I don't, I don't have much confidence in Will's shooting ability. Oh, cool. I'm gonna waste all the, all the rounds just trying to kill the deer. I guess we could just let it bleed out, huh? It's running toward the dam now anyway, so... It's actually, that's a method, um, I think like a hunting method used by like... Tri Afri some African tribes. I'm not sure, like, the, the time time period, but... And I forget what it's called, but they basically would, like... They'd run... Not not quite what we're doing here, but they would run the deer, or, like, the animal, to exhaustion. 
and like they would just kind of follow it slowly it would take a long time to to run it you know like to get it to be exhausted but just kind of follow it a uh, jog after it while it sprints away you up all of its energy and then you you know they just eventually come up on it and it's just like gassed laying on the ground can't do anything because it's just like so exhausted and tired and then they have lunch or dinner Did it? No, okay, here we go. Go this way. I think we really spooked it, huh? Came really far. The first time, after the first shot, it ran right past us. There it is on the left, I think. Nope. First time, when it was running, it ran right past us. There it is. Dead. And then it, then it stopped, right? Like, it was just kind of interesting uh, observing the AI. Let's steam. That's the lower dam area, isn't it? Still a good time to explore. Maybe. What's that? Another dead dude? There's a deer way over there. It's running. To me, that says it's it was scared by something. Maybe a wolf? Frozen deer. That happened fast. I think we need hide. One unit. 45 minutes, 150 calories. That's fine. We have a whetstone, so we can... 1 hour, 25 minutes, 283 calories. Let's see how much meat is in 1 kilogram. Quarter. What? But we can't... It says right here in the, in the upper left, quarter. Select amounts to harvest. But we're not, we're not able to select amounts. So let's go like this. We're gonna save the meat for right now. I'm curious about this now. We're gonna we're gonna get the um like the cons the non food items. Sun's starting to go down again. The the deer. Once we saw the deer, it was just like that was priority. Harvested fresh gut. So we're going in order to cure this leather. We need to leave it out in out outside, or like leave it out in the open inside of a building for like three hours. Like that. Let's see what this does for us. No, we're not going to do this. We already know what it does, right? It's meat. It's food. We have so much food that we are we are overburdened with it, literally. This looks like a convict, right? That'll come in handy. No, it won't. Those are garbage. They're really bad. Wow, I'm just... What? Who is this person? Why are they here? Where did they come from? Why are they dressed like that? And why did we only find boots on them? What's that? Another crow feather? A lot of crow feathers around, huh? A lot of them. I guess the game wants us to make arrows. We're not going to, though. You know why? You don't know why? Look at what we're holding right now. We can eat some food. We can, we're gonna we're gonna get some shut. Oh, look at that! We're gonna get some shut eye at some point here, but we're really gonna try to use the daylight that we have to explore the lower dam area. So, in case you didn't see the video, uh, when we first came to this area, we came from that way, went across the bridge. I heard noise, but um, we went across the bridge, and there's a gate. See that fence up there? There's a gate that leads you through, and then uh, when, when we were going to close the gate behind us, the bear, the magical bear, shut it for us, but shut it really hard in our face and uh, knocked us out. Well, this was worthless. Bummer. And then when we came out of, out of that place, we had the medical supplies and... There's a blizzard, so we just kept on going. We didn't explore the lower dam area. But now that we're here, I, I want to, for sure. I don't think we can go up there. Because that's... On the other side of that would be... Yeah, I mean, that would be the... The prepper cache over there. We already kind of checked that out. We can't go that way. Let's go around 
Let's go up here. And we're going to look at it in the daylight. That wolf is close, just aggroed on us. It's definitely over there somewhere. Where is it? Is it down below us? I think it is. That's the one that was on the other side of the water. Well, maybe we can just ignore it for now. Oh, there it is. We're not going to ignore it. We're going to get into the open so we have a better shot. Here we go. What the heck was that? Okay, wolf carcass. Hide and guts. What do we need for... Hmm. Okay, we're gonna go back to this. Go to the crafting thingy. So we need cured deer hide. Cured gut. So this gut over here on the right side of the screen. In the upper right, that's what I'm looking at. Uh, I think we have two guts. Right, so can we use the guts from wolves for this? Need a lot of deer hide. Jeez, you gotta kill a lot of deer. Okay. Huh. Yo, let's look at our inventory. The crafting thingy. Fresh deer hide. These are just guts. The game does not discriminate between the guts. However, we get two... We're gonna need... How was it? Or how many was it? We need, um... Two... Three, four, five cured deer hide. So if we're getting probably between one and two deer hide per deer, but then we're always getting more guts than hide, then we won't need to keep the guts from the wolf. You know what I mean? Like taking the guts from that wolf won't, it won't like put us ahead. We won't be better off for it. What's up there? Probably a caved in tunnel, right? We might find out one day, but not today. We wanted to see this in the daylight, so that's what we are doing. Remember all this junk out here? Called her damn junkyard. What's in here? Nothing. Of course. I mean, I don't know what. I don't know why I would have expected or asked why. Like, you know, what was in there? Because that's what I expect. Actually, it was nothing. But anyway, uh, I wonder if we can get to the other side of the, the dam. You know, because there, there's a, there's like a, it's a guardrail right there, like handrail for walking. That's to keep people from falling off the dam, right? So, like, I would expect that we could access that. Like, there's a, there's a walkway up there that we can get to. Or there's a walkway up there for sure. Whether or not we can get to it is the question. Yeah, it looks like this is the only way. Okay. I guess if we can restore power... This is the power. This is like the power generation place. So there's an elevator inside here. It doesn't have power. So I was thinking, well, maybe if we can like restore power, we can use the elevator and go all the way down. But like to restore the power, I guess we have to figure out uh, maybe like the electrical room. Hello. We have um we have two small bottles of lantern fuel. So there's a control room. We need to find a code to this panel. Oh. Oh. Door is locked because the control panel is... We don't know the code to it. But then there's also no electricity, right? Oh, what was that? No way. We can pry it. We can just pry it open? Oh, no. That's the lantern extinguished. Okay, never mind. We've been in here a few times. That's back when we were using wool mittens. Amateur stuff. Okay, there's the control room. There's another... There's an electrical room that has the same door. It won't be in the bathroom. I think it's going to be downstairs, right? Just because, like, usually the, the hydroelectric, like, turb... Or the, the turbines? The hydro turbine? Whatever. Turbines that are generating electricity from the water movement are usually downstairs, right? Because the water's down there. So the electrical room is probably down here. Oh, super wrong. But we've been here before. 
I commented, well, the gate's locked, but there's also a bunch of stuff right there. So I'm guessing that even if we... Even if we do open that gate, it's, it's still going to be for nothing. I think the only reason that a, that a downstairs exists is to have that corpse there and just to kind of, like, flesh out the building. Make it seem like it's not so one-dimensional. Search. Yeah, we got... Oh, 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 oh. We have a pry bar now. I remember to hold down thank the buttons. Uh, yeah, thank goodness. Water. Great. Sure. Worn thermal underwear. No, we already have that. We have enough cloth. We don't need to tear it down. Okay. So control room. We're going to go this way. The electrical room maybe is upstairs. Maybe it is in the bathroom. Who knows? That's right. The flare gun that we left behind. Didn't need it. Now we definitely don't need it. After Need it. After seeing what it does. Oh, here we go. I could use this. Oh, no way. Okay, well, cool. Firearm cleaning kit. We could have had that a lot sooner, you know, like, because we found the one that we have in the hunting lodge. And um, we, we found the hunting lodge a lot later in the playthrough than we were here at the dam building. Anyway, no big Then up more was nothing, right? Like, we can't get in there. If I remember correctly, it's just like there's no prompt at all to do anything. There's a phone. So we'll come back in here. Broken metal door. Now we're good. I feel pretty confident that we've searched thoroughly in here. Maybe maybe there wasn't an electrical room. I must be mistaken. I thought there was another door. So if I were... to hide a code to that thing somewhere, where would it be? Search, searched. We... That's the... That's the lock that we picked. Can't use that old thing. Yeah, we already searched all that. Okay. Huh. Is it food or? Okay. Wood matches. No, we've already seen all this stuff. Oh, is that a workbench? Yeah, it is. We don't have enough stuff to make anything though. Bummer. If you had flat screen monitors like this, like in abundance, why would you keep the CRTs? Uh, okay, I'm going to call this video here. I, I really wanted to find the code to that door, the electrical, or the control room door. Empty, empty, searched. Is there... But yeah, this game is called Long Dark. I'm, I'm getting into it now, finally, after after a long time. I'm not sure if you noticed, if you've been following this playthrough, but um, there was a point at which I was kind of... I was waiting for, like, something cool to happen. Like, I was waiting for, uh, you know, basically, like, the exploration to be worth it. And that finally happened. And um, I'm, I'm a lot more enthusiastic about this game now. I hope it shows. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching Atlas Gaming. I release content every day. I really appreciate it. Thank you. We'll see you in the next one.